Okay, you're on. Hi, this is Ben Guy number nine, and we are on the way between um, temples 47 and 48. Um, it's about noon on the 20th of June, and we've stopped here because this is a very important um, Ben Guy uh, in the story of Kukai. And we wanted to pay our respects by coming here, and we even got a stamp in our book to acknowledge the fact that we visited. Briefly, um, a merchant. Very who, wealthy, the wealthiest in Shikoku. The wealthiest merchant in Shikoku was not charitable towards Kukai. Emon Saboro was huh? his name, Emon Saboro. So he wasn't very charitable towards Kukai. Um, on his regular begging rounds that he did around the island. And as a result of that lack of charity, um, all eight of his children, sons. were of his sons, died. Um, in order to, then he realized, of course, the magnitude of what he had done. And in order to um, repent, he undertook um, to make the journey for the pilgrimage until he could find Kukai. Uh, he started here at this Bengai. It wound up being that he went a hundred times um, around the island, which would give him, I think, a, a um, gold or even better uh, Osama Fuda, maybe the, the braided Osama Fuda here in nowadays times for a hundred pilgrimages. He still didn't find him. Um, and in a show of his faith, he started again, but this time counterclockwise. And on the first pilgrimage, counterclockwise, he found him. He was forgiven by Kukai, and um, he was, in fact, he soon after that reached Nirvana. His physical body died, and um, he was given a stone by Kukai when he was... On his, deathbed. Uh, on his deathbed, that stone was in the hands of a young baby. It was born not too long afterwards, um, and there was a note on that stone which said that this guy, Emon Saburo, 